In these online notes, I'm going to uh, talk to you guys about the concentrations of acids and bases, and we're going to do a little bit of math. We're going to do all of this on page 7 of our notebook. Uh, let's get started. Read along with me. So in pure water, H2O, at 25 degrees Celsius, a very small amount of water ionizes according to the equation below. Take a look at that word ionize. What does it mean? It means when something ionizes, it splits to form a positive and a negative ion. And when you look at that equation, H2O is splitting apart. One of the H's attaches to an H2O, becomes H3O+, plus. that's called a hydronium ion. And one of those waters is going to lose an H. And when it loses an H, it becomes an OH- minus or a hydroxide ion. That's what ionizing means. Okay, so through experimentation, chemists have determined that the concentration of hydronium is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar, and the concentration of hydroxide is 1, also 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. So, um... Is a very small number. Most of the water in a beaker of water or a glass of water is going to be H2O and a very small amount. 1 times 10 to the negative 7th is going to be hydroxide and hydronium. Okay, so what does this mean for us? We can use these numbers to figure out relative amounts of uh, concentrations of H3O plus and OH minus. When these two numbers are multiplied together, we get a constant and it's uh, according to this equation or formula right here. So we've got some hydronium. We multiply it by hydroxide. We always get 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now, here's the key part here that I kind of put brackets around in blue. Acids and bases in water can be defined by the concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide ions. So the table that you guys have in your notebook can be used to determine if a substance is neutral, an acid, or a base. Let's take a look at that table now. Okay, so neutral water, neutral, exists when the concentration of hydronium is equal to the concentration of the hydroxide. Um, please recall that these brackets right here represent or mean concentration, right? So whenever you see a bracket, think, hey, that's concentration. And what is the concentration of? the concentration of the hydronium ion in these examples. Okay, well, what about an acid? An acid exists when there's more H3O plus ions than there are OH minus ions. And a base exists when there's fewer H3O plus ions and more OH minus ions in solution. All right. So, let's take a look at an example. Imagine that the hydronium concentration of some substance is 1.0 times 10 to the negative, give me a second, negative fourth molar. Just wanted to put that M in there. And a concentration of the hydroxide is 1.0 times 10 to the negative tenth. All right, so what do these numbers look like if we get them out of scientific notation? 1 times 10 to the negative 4th and 1 times 10 to the negative 10th. What do they look like? It looks like this, 0 0.0001, and the other one is 0 0.0000, there's like nine zeros and a 1. Which one is smaller? The one on the right. So what does that mean for us? It means that the substance that has uh, the greater amount of the H3O plus substance is an acid. Let's do another problem, this time with some numbers in it. All right, so this is question number one. Do all of your work. You've got to show all of your work. We're going to um, round our answers to the, the tenths place when we write out our final answer. All right, so take a look. Question number one says, if H3O plus concentration is 7.2 times 10 to the negative third molar, then what is OH minus? What's the concentration of OH minus? Also, is the substance an acid or a base? Take a look at the, uh, that formula from our notes. Always write it out first. So H3O plus times OH minus is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. We're going to plop that 7.2 times 10 to the negative third number into our formula. 
that was the concentration of H3O+. plus. We're going to rewrite the formula except add that number. Now to get OH minus by itself, we've got to divide 7.2 times 10 to the negative third on both sides. And that's what that looks like on the left. And this is what it looks like on the right. When we put this into our calculator, we're going to make sure that we... Um, want to work from the top down, right? We're going to uh, put everything within parentheses in that calculator. If you don't know how to do that or don't remember how to do that, I made a video on how to, or you can just ask me or a neighbor. We're going to work from the top down, so I'm going to put 1.0 times 10 to negative 14th into my calculator first, divide sign 7.2 times 10 to the negative third on the bottom, and when we do that, we get OH minus is equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 12th. The second part of the question says, is the substance an acid or a base? Well, 7.2 times 10 to the negative third is a bigger number than 1.4 times 10 to the negative 12. That's a smaller number. So if we have H3O plus is larger than OH minus, the substance is an acid. Let's do another problem. Number two. So if the concentration of OH minus is 1.9 times 10 to the negative third, then what is the concentration of H3O plus? Is the substance an acid or a base? I always start off with figuring out my numbers, but also by putting uh, the formula onto paper. Now I'm going to rewrite the formula, but this time I'm going to add a piece of information that I know. I'm going to put 1.9 times 10 to the negative third in for OH minus times H3O plus, that's equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. We've got to get H3O plus by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 1.9 times 10 to the negative third. Do that. Remember, it's a division problem. We're going to work from the top down, so put the 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th into your calculator first, divided by 1.9 times 10 to the negative third, and we get H3O plus concentrations equal to 5.3 times 10 to the negative 12th. That's a really small number. 1.9 times 10 to the negative third is a larger number. So we can conclude then that since OH minus is larger than H3O plus, the substance is a base. I want you to try the 10 questions on the Padlet. Um, you're going to do those problems on page 6 of your notebook, so on the left of what you just did on these notes. Um, raise your hand if you have any questions, and I'll be more than happy to answer them.